Hey guys, welcome back, it's Ari from Mental Med School. So today we are going to have a general introduction about viruses. So viruses are very, very small, almost 1000 times smaller than the average eukaryotic cell. Viruses are made from protein blocks called capsomeres, and mainly capsomeres form a capsid. A ca the capsid can take many different shapes. One of them is the, is the icosahedral conformation, which is like a six-sided sided diamond shape with 20 surfaces on top. So these different shapes of capsids contain inside nucleic acid. But unlike eukaryotic and pro prokaryotic, viruses contain a variation of even a single or double-branded DNA or RNA. For okay. double-stranded RNA is not something you find regularly inside eukaryotic of, or prokaryotic. So double-stranded RNA is something very unique for viruses. It can also contain a single-stranded DNA, which is also not something you hear about a lot. The DNA or RNA, the nucleic acids, are stored inside a protein coat called nucleocapsid. The most important thing about viruses is that viruses need host to survive and reproduce. Without a host, they can't do anything. We can divide viruses into different categories. For example, bacteriophage are viruses that only infect bacteria, or the pox viruses or herpes viruses, etc., etc., are only viruses that can infect eukaryotic cells, our cells. Viruses can access the cells using different mechanisms. Bacteriophage, for example, which looks something like a needle, have a sheath which can pass the cell wall and cell membrane of the prokaryotes and can inject the genetic material to the inside of the prokaryote. Eukaryotic viruses, for example, can take advantage of the cell membrane and proteins on top of the cell membrane that integrated in the membrane of the eukaryote and to trick the cell receptors to think the virus is a male, quote-unquote, that the cell should receive. So imagine a cell membrane of a eukaryote and a membrane virus. So you have a membrane and inside you have the capsomere and inside you have the nucleic acids. The membrane of the virus contain different proteins that fits perfectly to proteins that integrated into the cell membrane of the eukaryote and once they attach and connect with the receptors of the cell membrane they can fuse their membrane, the virus can fuse the membrane and to send his genetic material to the inside of eukaryotic cell. These are the ways, the main ways you should know and remember of viruses to enter the cell. In the next video we are going to have about what happens once the virus enter the cell and what cycles and processes happens to the virus and to the hosted cell.